Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. A federal jury found former Virginia Governor Bob McDonnell guilty of all of the public corrupt corruption charges against him and his wife guilty of the vast majority of them. It was outright sobbing from many members of his family and from him too. The cries weren't necessarily audible, but he was shaking pretty violently. How could this go so Excuse wrong, me. Mr. Governor? And he utterly broke down in a way that we haven't seen before. Excuse me. Hey, thank you guys. It was 67 witnesses over five weeks. Good afternoon, folks. Bob McDonnell has earned the very dubious distinction of being the first governor in the history of Virginia to be charged with a crime. Bob and Maureen McDonnell stand accused of trading the prestige of the governor's office in exchange for a man who ran a dietary supplement company. His name is Johnny Williams, and he gave them about $177,000 in luxury vacations, gifts, and uh, sweetheart loan deals. At the center of the case is really did the McDonald's enter into a corrupt bargain with Johnny Williams Sr.? Taking official actions or promising to take official actions uh, from the governor's office for that man. They're charged with conspiracy, meaning they have to conspire together. Defense attorneys are saying their marriage was broken. At times they were hardly talking. They could not have conspired together. The governor and the first lady uh, very purposely did not interact with one another. They were showing through their body language this defense that they were not conspiring together, that in fact their marriage is on the rocks. And further, that Maureen McDonald had a crush on Johnny Williams Sr. And maybe that, rather than a sort of lust for money, is why she was soliciting things from him. The highlights were probably for the prosecution, uh, Johnny Williams himself taking the stand for the first time telling his story. He basically got up there and said, I did it, I bribed them. Sort of the unparalleled moment throughout the whole trial was when Bob McDonald himself took the stand. He was up there in total for about 24 hours laying out his view of this relationship with Johnny Williams and why he felt that he always acted in the best interest of Virginia. We still love you. They set a sentencing date in January. With all the charges that they're convicted of, they're facing a maximum of decades in prison. But we'll see. The federal sentencing process is a complicated one. 